Hi, I'm Joshua from Sharepad and in this tutorial, let's have a look at the single page. To get started, we can access single page by clicking on the page icon in the main toolbar. Closing single page will take you back to exactly where you left off. Alternatively, if on a device with a keyboard, we can use the enter key shortcut. Single page can either be viewed as a full screen or as a green view. To change this, head over to Options, Preferences, and on the Views tab, next to Single Page Summary, change between Full Screen and Normal Green View, and then click OK. As a green view, we can quickly go through a list of instruments and see Single Page for each of them on the right. To quickly bring up the alternative display option, we can press Shift on a keyboard whilst entering Single Page. Single page has a standard setting or a custom setting, which can be accessed from this top toolbar. To start making changes to the custom setting, click on Design in the lower left corner. First off, we can add some additional lines to the main chart, such as a sector index and a volume histogram. Next, we can make some changes to the financial overview, just over here. We're currently looking at a non-financial stock, so I'm going to click on this edit button here. We can change the sections shown, the metrics, and the order of these. For example, these other key values are not something that I look at very often. So let's click the cross here. Here we have options to delete the section and all of the metrics, or to move those metrics to the section above or below. To confirm this, click on the red delete button. Next, I would like to add in a new section, so if I scroll up to the top, and then click on this green add button, we can give this new section a name such as Joshua's Metrics and then click OK. The next step is adding in some metrics by clicking on this green Add button. First off, I'm going to add in Pension Deficit. Next, I'm going to add in Sortino Ratio. And also Debt to Market Cap. And finally, for this one, I want to combine items and select market cap divided by turnover. I can now select one of these metrics and use the green arrows here to move it up and down. We can also do this for whole sections, so if I click on Josh's metrics, I can move this below key metrics. OK, so I'm happy with these changes and I'm going to click OK. And then for the financial overview, we've got options to show TTM, trailing 12 months, and forecast. So I'm going to leave TTM on for now and turn off forecast. And next, let's head over to the data boxes. Here we can see all of the data boxes currently being displayed and those not being displayed below. To move a section, simply click and drag on it to the currently displayed section. For example, I've moved news at the top here. Let's follow that by peer companies, location. I'll also add in activity breakdown and directors. We can also click and drag to reorder these data boxes. So I'm finished with my changes here and I'm going to click OK. One last thing in this menu, we've got options here to show only RNS or only Alliance News or both. I'm going to leave this on both for now. I'm now finished with all of the changes that I'd like to make, so for one last time, I'm going to click OK. Here we can see all of the changes that we've just made, such as the additional lines on the main chart. We've got our metrics in the financial overview and the data boxes that we've selected below. Now let's have a quick rundown of the interactivity available on single page. Starting with the logo, if we click on this, we are taken to the company's website, and here we are taken directly to the investors page. Clicking on any of these pieces of information will bring up a handy explainer, and this works likewise for the ratios over here, and the metrics in the financial overview. Clicking here will open up the full company profile. And clicking in Notes will allow us to add in something for later reference. Heading down to the Financial Overview, we can click and drag on one of our metrics to one of the mini charts on the right. Moving on to the data boxes, 
Clicking on a news headline will take you to the full article. Clicking on one of the peer companies will take you to the single page for that instrument. Clicking on a company's address will open up their headquarters in Google Maps. Clicking on Next in the Activity Breakdown will show you a breakdown of operating turnover by region and product, and operating profit by product. And finally, clicking on the name of one of the directors or shareholders will open up an internet search. Become a better investor with SharePad and discover the advantage. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more quick tips, features and tutorials.